Hello everyone, it is I, Josh Delgrange, here to bring you an, a new video. I just had surgery, so if I'm talking a little funny, it's because I had oral surgery and had two wisdom teeth removed. But anyways, I'm still reading this crap on Twitter and on other social media. People that are wishing or hoping that Donald J. Trump, our soon-to-be new president, who's getting sworn in today, hoping that he would be assassinated and trying to get people to to like their posts and to send it out and retweet it and whatever else and I'm gonna ask this question because I asked this on Twitter I'm like what the hell is wrong with people today I mean what the hell you know if this had this been Hillary Clinton or maybe Bernie Sanders do you, do you think anybody on the right a Republican a conservative an independent thinker any of these people, do you think they would say the same thing? The answer would be no. And do you really, you must be so loon, you must be such a loony person to think that tweeting this out or posting on your Facebook account, somehow you're safe from law enforcement who might, who might be looking into you right now. And I, you know what, I'm glad if they're looking into you because, you know, you know what used to be really scary? The word Gitmo. Now if you throw it out there, people don't take it seriously because Gitmo's closed. But I could just see it now being reopened and taking these people who are domestic terrorists, the ones who are planning on disrupting or destroying things because they can't have their way. You know what you know what uh you know what the army used to do? They used to round up bad guys. They used to round up suspected terrorists without even Without even knowing if they were terrorists or not, they put them on a C-130 plane and then fly them to Gitmo, only to uh, <laughs> be es escorted out in chains to their new destination. Where, by the way, they don't get no lawyers. They don't get no fair trial. No, they were just whisked away, automatically put on plane, flown over to Gitmo. So honestly, do you really believe? in your heart of hearts that you're safe from the way you're talking about how you wish or hoped or maybe you're the one that was doing the killing against Donald Trump that you wish that you could kill Donald Trump do you think you're safe you know what? I'm gonna enjoy this when I read the headlines former users of social media have all been arrested for conspiring conspiring to kill a US president I'm gonna love that. I want to see their face right on the headlines with their names, because you know there's a lot of people who don't have faces or names. But you know what's gonna be funny when the news media exposes them for who they are, then you can laugh at them like, "How stupid are you? You really believe that you're safe on social media to get away with murder?" Well, let me tell you something. Stop watching. You know what? That's a TV show for one. And eventually, you're going to get caught. You're going to say something that you're going to regret saying. Your life as an American citizen will be over if you're charged with domestic terrorist claims. That's all the federal government has to do. That's all the federal law enforcement has to do is charge you on domestic terrorism or conspiracy to commit murder because you think that everybody wants to see somebody like that. Did you know our 44th president... That's right, well, President Obama had the most attempts and threats on his life. And you know what I'm glad? Nothing happened because no one ever deserves to be threatened like that. No one ever deserves to be a, from, from crazy people saying they're going to assassinate them because they don't like their policies. You know what, I'm glad that President Obama is still alive. I'm glad. I'm pretty happy that he's alive because I don't know. I don't know about uh, you know you know who would be sworn in after Obama if something happened to him Joe Biden then if somebody took Joe Biden out it'd be the next person on the list the fact that these people think by saying assassination on Donald J Trump is somehow going to make America better again or oh yeah we'll just take out Mike Pence or how about we just or they're like, oh, we're going to take out maybe his entire staff before they get sworn in. Uh, you know what? It's too late. 
And they're all listening. The government, the federal employees are listening to you talk about assassinating the president. Well, congratulations on being a loony person who thinks they're safe on social media. Because that's all coming to an end. And let me tell you something. They're watching you. Remember the old saying, watch what you say because someone's always watching you. That's not a joke. Did you not hear Edward Snowden talk about how our own government is spying on us? Did you forget about that? Well, you know what? I'm glad our government's spying on us. I'm glad that they're spying on people like this. Because for one, you are a crazy lunatic who needs to be taken to prison immediately after the inauguration. You need to be looked at. And you know what? When you try to go find a job after you've been charged with, I don't know, domestic terrorism, good luck finding one because no one's going to hire you. I wouldn't hire you. If I, if I was an owner, a CEO of a company, and my employees were talking like this, the first thing I do is march right in, right up to them and say, go to your office, clean your desk out. You're no longer needed here. What's it going to take for you people to wake up? So, you know what? I'm, I'm just I'm just glad that there's so many idiots out there who think, by the way, that they can just get away with it. You're not. You're on social media. You're Even if you delete a tweet, they're going to find it. And I, I, you know, I, I still don't understand how Twitter defends or allows these people to operate. But if, yeah, it's like some people said, if you made a joke about a fat person, a fat woman, or anybody, you can get banned. Oh, excuse me, but I'm a fat person. I don't care if somebody jokes about my weight. Because I probably will laugh. You know why? Because I know they're joking. Unlike you, who think what you're doing is a joke. Oh, we're joking. Wait until the feds come to your door. You know, three in the morning. Knocks on your door and goes, Hi, we're from the FBI. We saw what you said last night. We, we, we just want you to come down to our building and, and talk to us about what you said. Yeah. And by the way, you won't have a lawyer present. You go, I want a lawyer. Well, first of all, you have to be charged first. And usually, if it's on a domestic terrorism case, you're not going to get a lawyer. Your rights as a U.S. citizen are over. Good luck with that. Have fun. 